Hi, if you watch any of the YouTubers that I watch, you probably have heard of Function of Beauty. I was really intrigued by it because literally everyone is sponsored by them. My hairdresser bought a bottle and she's been using it and she actually really liked it. She used it on my hair a few times and I was like, I wonder if they'd sponsor me. So I emailed them, told them my story about like, oh, I've tried it through my hairdresser. Their answer was, we'll get back to you. So that's a no, but I also thought it'd be a good idea to just try it on my own then if their answer to me is no. I think if I'm going to be sponsored by something, maybe I should try it more than a handful of times and genuinely like it before. So this is my completely unsponsored, uncensored opinions on how Function of Beauty works. So maybe I'll figure out that I do like them and maybe when I'm bigger they will sponsor me or maybe I'll end up hating them and not ever want to be sponsored by them. First up, let's order from them. I haven't seen any girls really be sponsored while they had colorful colored hair. I feel like that's also an interesting take from them. Since this is coming out of my own pocket, I'm not sponsored anything. I am going to be using a YouTuber's discount code. The last person I remember seeing being sponsored by Function of Beauty was Marla Fay. So I'm just gonna go use hers. Also, I already looked into it. She doesn't have a code. You just have to click the little link in her bio, which I feel like is weird because I was already on the website earlier, like trying to figure out how to enter a code, but you literally don't have a code. You just have to click the link. I feel like that's weird because a lot of times I am just on a site ordering stuff and then I remember a YouTuber like has a discount code, but then I can't use it. Really weird. Order. So my hair type is wavy. It's almost curly, but I'm not going to say that. Medium. I'm pretty normal. It said over 47,000 five star reviews. That's interesting. So five hair goals. For sure color protection because pink hair is a lot. Oil control. That way I, I don't have to wash my pink hair so much because that's how it fades. Anti-frizz. Probably deep condition. Let's say strengthen. And then when you select, I'd like silicone free. It says, are you sure you'd like silicone free? Silicones are conditioning multitaskers that are commonly used to help aid with hair detangling, softness, and shine. If you haven't used silicone free products before, it may take time for your hair to adjust to the different feel. I have used silicone free, so I'm gonna ask for silicone free. I guess there's also a lot of controversy just in the hair community in general about what silicones. So I want lavender. What's lavender though? Lavender, medium, and I'm gonna type my name. And it'll show up on the bottle, that's cute. I do want purple, and then for the conditioner I want pink. And then I want 16 and 16, which is $49.99, that's a lot of money. But, <laughs> um, I'm not gonna add any of the extras, I just wanna try the shampoo and conditioner. I just want ones, cause I'm not even sure if I'll like them. No, thank you. I want a gift um, to me from me. That's not even how you spell my name. <laughs> it's $49.99 just for the 16 ounce shampoo and conditioner. Shipping is $7.99 unless you get the multiple pack deal or whatever, but like, I don't even know if I like it, so I'm not going to do that. And then YouTubers discounts get you 20% off, which ends up being $10. If you aren't doing the free shipping, it's $47.98 for shampoo and conditioner. If you are doing the free shipping, it's going to end up being like $40. Even with a discount, that is kind of a lot of money, so I really hope that it's worth it to get the custom shampoo and conditioner but we'll have to see and then also it's gonna take about nine days to get here they said which makes sense if they're doing a custom thing that makes me feel a little bit safer like they actually are doing custom rather than just having like just filling a bottle and being like this is definitely your custom did hear that they send ingredient lists so we'll have to look into it and compare to other people who have ingredient lists and see how similar it is so i'll see you guys I'll see you guys when I get it. Also, yes, so if you saw it fill out, my natural hair is wavy. 
Um, my hairdresser's hair is curly, so she used her curly hair shampoo on mine. I'm assuming the curly and wavy aren't that off from each other, but my hair type is very consistent with a lot of the YouTubers that I've seen sponsored. I've only seen like a few girls with actually curly hair. If you're looking for someone with a different hair texture, I did find a video of a girl doing a non-sponsored review. She has coily and coarse hair. I will link hers in case you find that a little bit more helpful. But I'll see you guys when my shampoo gets here. It came! Okay, so shipping wise, I ordered it on September 2nd. It shipped September 7th. Estimated delivery date was September 10th, but there's a lot of things going on in like every part of the country now that's delaying shipping, so it got here today on the 17th. <laughs> this is what the package looks like. It says function of Colleen. It says my name. It's kind of smaller than I expected and pretty heavy. open it up it looks like this all this stuff this thing was at the top as well as stickers this will have my ingredients very cute box it comes with so my shampoo is purple this is really cute it says my name on it Ooh, it says 100% recycled plastic I like that why is this cap like cute it says my name on it Pink. It has two pumps. Inside of the box is really cute. Came with these two and the pumps, stickers. Let's see what this is. So, vegan, cruelty free, profile, all the stuff that I picked, lavender. <laughs> um, welcome to Function of Beauty. Share on Instagram. It has all of the ingredients. Shake product before using. Lather shampoo with water and hands before massaging the scalp. Use fingers to distribute product from to end. Working your way through the length of your hair. Rinse and repeat this product for lather. Much more the second time an indicator that your hair is fully clean. What? Apply conditioner to the ends and work your way up. Allow conditioner to set through four minutes. Rinse thoroughly. If you haven't used a silk and free conditioner before, make time to adjust a different feel of your hair. If anyone cares enough to like pause and read this, it's a whole lot. I don't know if I want to decorate it, but these are cute stickers. Okay, so my hair is a little bit oily and we're going to get in the shower and wash it. I'm going to do two washes in this video just so I feel like that gives us a better idea rather than just one wash. Mm. It smells really good. Also smells good. This reminds me of Pepto-Bismol. I didn't think about the fact that I did my makeup for a YouTube video and then I'm gonna like shower in that video. But I also can't wash my hair with these on. Um, I'm about to wash my hair. And then when I use the conditioner, I'm going to mix in a little bit of this ion pigment stuff. It's just what I use to keep my hair super pink. I'm going to do that this time because my birthday was this weekend. I'm taking cute pictures this weekend, so I really want my hair to stay pink. But the next time that I wash my hair in this video, I won't be using it, so it'll be a better indicator of how much color I lose. Or if I lose any at all. I'm not getting demonetized today.
hair feels silky smooth. Like, way softer than I expected. Like, really nice. <laughs> I'm gonna dry it a little bit and then I'll take you guys more. Alright, so this is my natural wavy hair all dried. The front pieces, for some reason, never get that wavy, but it feels really, really soft. Like, I didn't, I don't know what I was expecting, but it feels really, really soft. I'm not going to wear it natural, though. I didn't put any product in it, so it's a little bit frizzy because my hair tends to be frizzy when I don't put any leave-in conditioner or anything in it. So I'm going to brush it out and curl it. honest I kind of wanted to hate it so that I could turn around and be like your favorite youtuber is lying to you but I don't hate it I really like it which I guess is good for other reasons because it was really expensive and I don't know what I'd do if I just didn't use my really expensive shampoo I've washed it twice now and literally my hair didn't really fade at all that second wash it feels so soft and bouncy like it's literally so much softer than it has been like I don't even know how they did that like it feels great it got oily in the same amount of days it usually does i waited four days in between washes that's like average for me sometimes i'll go a little bit longer but with lots of dry shampoo please don't judge me i have naturally wavy hair so i need to like take time in between my hair washing i kind of picked some scales so branding and packaging 10 out of 10 the package was really cute once it got here the brand itself is really cute everything about it like just that it says my name you can pick the colors, the stickers it comes with, like, for the target audience, which I'm guessing would be, like, me and, like, teenage girls, because that's typically who they sponsor or has that target audience. Perfect. That is exactly how you should market to the target audience that they're going for. 10 out of 10. Price, though, I'm going to say an 8 out of 10. It is a really, really good shampoo for what it's worth. I believe that price is pretty fair, but, again, they are targeting towards a younger group who don't always have that much money and don't always want to drop that much money on shampoo. I know personally, like I tried this for a video, I do tend to drop a lot of money on like my beauty products. I have friends that do, but I have a lot of friends that don't want to spend that much money on that stuff because they need to spend it on something else. And that's just the case for a lot of young girls. And then my personal product to me is a 10 out of 10. It literally, my hair didn't get super oily even when it got oily. I probably could have gone another day if I really wanted to. It is like the softest it's been in so long and I literally just bleached it like less than a month ago. It holds the curls that I put, it's almost holding them too well, like they're kind of a little too spirally for me. And it didn't make my hair fade, which is like the biggest thing that I was looking for in the shampoo. So my personal product is 10 out of 10. However, after watching that other video that I will have linked down below, I do think that the company should probably look into hiring some people who are experts on coily, coarse, black hair so that they can be a little bit more inclusive because I know she really didn't like her product and was disappointed about it. And I think there's definitely a big audience there that would be disappointed when they see their favorite YouTuber using something that doesn't work on their hair. Yeah, that's, that's all I have. Let me know if you want me to do an update as soon as I go through these bottles. Let me know what other videos you want to see from me. Thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Bye! You say I'm not the baddest, but you lie. It ain't my fault.